Hey Sagittarius, what is going on? What's the crack? I hope you are very well. My name is Madam Butterfly and we're going to do a love reading for March. Um, you are so welcome here as always. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out the reading. I do appreciate it so much. And um, if you feel like it resonates with you, you know, and you enjoy it and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I'd appreciate that a lot, Sag. Okay, so I'm going to pull one of these bad boys to start off your reading. Whoa, soulmates. Alrighty then, thank you, Spirit. So, you have a soulmate coming in here. Or the person that you're dealing with is a soulmate, Sag. Beautiful. What a beautiful way to start off the reading. So, yeah, you have a soulmate coming in. Alright, let's see what else you have here, because that's pretty self-explanatory. Heal. Okay. That's interesting. <clears throat> You've just had two cards. And look, they're in exactly the same position. I'm just going to ignore <clears throat> what the cards actually are. Um, this is about being open to receiving what is coming towards you. Because look, they're, they're in receive mode. Okay, you have a soulmate coming in here. Um, you may be subconsciously blocking it a little bit, Sag, in some way, is what I want to say. You know, when they're saying to you, like, be open to receiving like that, there's a soulmate trying to come in here. Maybe you're kind of thinking about the past too much or you've already convinced yourself it's not going to happen. Right, who's coming towards Sagittarius, please? Yeah, they're not going to give me another card until I talk about this because I'm looking at, see his chest? See how it has the little cross on his chest? I think some of you might benefit from doing some work on your heart chakra and I will try my very best to remember to leave a meditation. It's not mine. Um, it's by a company called Meditative Mind. They have a, a site on YouTube and it's you just put it on at night. It's super easy. But you might have a little bit of a block there. Because the heart chakra gets kind of um, filled up with gook. <clears throat> like when you've been dealing with someone that kind of hurt you or you've had a lot of relationships that have hurt you. Because the heart chakra is kind of like the brain. That's the way I see it anyway. It kind of retains all the memories. Okay. This row is actually just, this top row is for you. Okay, and you have the high priestess here, Sag. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, but your intuition is very, very strong at the moment. Um, they're actually telling you what you need to do because I feel like there's something you have to release To be honest with you. I feel like you have a little I feel like there's a little soulmate trying to flutter into your life here And they're saying like make sure you're open to it. Listen To your intuition and also the high priestess is about not blocking um, um, Like not rushing into things. She's about not rushing into things like taking your time you know. All right, who's this person coming towards Sag, please? I actually want to pull one more for that top row. Okay, what else? for the top row. Rest and reconsider. Okay, so this is about you. This is the Nine of Wands in the, the Rider weight deck. So you've definitely, you've been through something, okay? Whether this, now, that doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that you've just come out of a relationship or something. This could be like there was someone that you thought you were going to get together with, you know, and maybe they ghosted you or maybe they kind of led you on for a while and you, you realized recently like it wasn't going to happen or something like this, you know, or you could have recently gotten out of a, a relationship. But the Nine of Wands, it's generally like a wounded warrior card. You know, it's someone that's kind of had to defend themselves. Um... You know, it's someone that's really been through it. So you have really been through it here. You know, they're saying like, give yourself some time to, to kind of cleanse, you know,
because there's this soulmate that wants to come in here for you, but you have to be in a place where you can receive it, right? Okay. <clears throat> right, let's see who's coming towards you. Whoa. <laughs> the three of swords. All right, this is going to be... All right, this is... I, I thought it was. This is going to be a reading more about you, okay? I, I have to read them as they come out, okay? So you have the nine of wands and you have the three of swords here, okay? Release the past. You will grow from the situation. Time heals all wounds. So this has come out for you under the nine of wands here. So you've definitely, you've had some kind of heartbreak or, you know, you're still kind of thinking about the past where you got hurt. And it's time to release it now. Like this is a time for healing for you. They're preparing you. You're being prepared for this person to come in. The three of pentacles and the ace of pentacles have come out underneath the high priestess. Okay. So your intuition is telling you that the reason things are taking a long time at the moment is because you're being prepared. I feel like you already know this. Your ego might be the one going, oh my God, nothing's ever going to happen. I'm never going to meet anyone again. This person's never going to call me back. But that's the ego talking, all right? This is the attachment that you have to the past, okay? <laughs> like when your ego... Because that's all the brain can do, really. You know, when you're working from that kind of place of... Um, constantly worrying all it can all you all you can do is take what you know and kind of compare it to the past <laughs> you know and be like well it didn't work out in the past therefore x y and z is going to happen in the future but that's the ego this is the things that you need to release in order for you to move on right um so your your intuition is telling you that you this connection or this new person that you're going to meet like it needs to go slow so that it can be very stable when it comes in, right? That's what your intuition is telling you. Um, and your intuition knows there's an offer coming with the Ace of Pentacles here. Like your intuition knows that there is an offer coming. So listen to your intuition, you know, don't let the ego take over because that's the other thing as well. You know, especially if you maybe have people around you giving it like, well, they're obviously not coming back, you know, or like, well, you know, you gave him your number and he didn't call, so there, he's obviously not going to call. But that's, you listen to your intuition, right? Because they're telling you that your intuition is spot on. Don't listen to your ego, don't listen to what, to you know, crap that people are telling you, because they don't know what's going on, right? Especially if they're not in touch with their intuition. They don't know. <laughs> okay, you have... The page of pentacles here, yeah, you're going to get an offer and see how she's got, <laughs> I don't like to mess up the cards once I've put them down, kind of a bit OCD, see how she's got her arms open, so the page of pentacles, this is being open to receive this offer that's coming in, you may well, um, just on a little bit of a side note here, because there is a lot of pentacles here, you may meet this person through work or you may meet them through like something where you're working with people. You may meet them when you're doing something creative. Like if you attend some kind of evening creative class or you teach it, um, yeah, or work. Particularly with the page of pentacles, like when you get, an, if you get a new job, or you're learning something new, maybe when you meet this person, or may have been when you met this person, like maybe you started a job and th there they were, because especially as well here, you have the three of pentacles with the ace of pentacles, so, you know, there may be, it may, this person may be something to do with money in your life in some way, or something creative that you do as in the evening. Um, they could also be, let's see what signs you've got here. They could be, I feel like that's more you. They could be a Virgo or a Capricorn. Or an Earth sign in general. 
Okay, what else, please? Yeah, see, I want to talk about this quote as well, because things may seem uncertain, you know, and you're very heavily having to rely on your intuition here, because you might not be getting a lot of um, <laughs> concrete evidence, particularly if it's like a, a sp specific person, you know, you might not be getting a lot of concrete evidence that any movement is actually happening, but your your soul, your intuition knows that you are being healed at the moment and you're being prepared for this. Okay, so you have underneath heel, you have the King of Cups and you have the Eight of Cups. Okay. Yeah, this is a little extra message for you. The Eight of Wands here, the Eight of Gabriel. So, a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. There's something, this, this soulmate, I want to put that there. Spirit is so funny. They're so cheeky and bossy. <laughs> you guys, you really are. Um, so, the, okay, sorry, I'm rambling. But underneath heel, you have the King of Cups and the Eight of Cups. I can't remember if I showed you them. There's been a situation in your past that you've, you've walked away from, okay? Or you're in the process of walking away. I feel like you've already walked away because you have the Nine of Wands here with the three of swords. I feel like if you haven't walked away, you're currently in a place where you're going, okay, I feel like I need to walk away. Because the Eight of Cups here, there is something better waiting for you. So I see you walking away from something. And look, see, male or female, right? It's the symbolism on the cards. See how there's that person waiting? And all you got to do is climb the stairs, right? Um... Damn, I was going to say something there, I can't remember what it is. Yes, and I promise you, Sagittarius, from experience, I promise you that if Spirit is telling you they have something better for you or someone better for you, they do. And I said, you might be dealing with an Aquarius because I said the same thing to Aquarius recently or maybe you've got Aquarius in your chart because I know what you're thinking, right? Like, you're like, oh, I'm never going to find anyone like the person that I've just walked away from. Like, they were my me or they were, I'm sure, I'm like convinced they were the person, you know, I'm meant to be with. I was so attracted to them. We had such a connection, blah, blah, blah. If Spirit is saying there's someone better for you, trust them. They're going to be better looking. You're going to be more attracted to them. You're going to get along with them better. They're going to be more suitable for you. You're probably going to, they're probably going to have a better sense of humor. You know, um, they're probably going to be smarter. <laughs> like, basically, is... You know, I'm saying it from experience, okay? Like, I promise you, because I know what you're thinking. You're like, eh, spirit, it's going to be some loser that I'm not attracted to. Because, <laughs> you know, you, you hear soulmate and you're like, oh, it's going to be some boring bastard <laughs> that I'm not attracted to. I promise you, you will be. This person coming in, they, they're going to be really gorgeous. Like, I don't usually get attracted, to, not attracted, I'm not that weird, but, like, they don't pull my attention to the actual person on the card, but look at that guy. You know, whoever you're dealing with here, they're going to be very attractive, male or female. They could be a water sign. Um, if they're not a water sign, then they're very, very sweet. Very, very sweet. They could be a doctor or a nurse. They could be an artist, this person, or they could be, they could work for a charity. They don't have to. That's just some of the things of the King of Cups here. And they're saying, yes, <clears throat> Sorry, Sag. It is safe for you to trust this new person coming in. Okay. It could be, this says follow your creative passion. So I don't know if some of you have recently taken up um, some kind of new creative hobby or you're going to get, because I see for some of you this, this Ace of Pentacles here with the Three of Pentacles. If you've got your own business, it's really going to start taking off soon. And some of you are going to get offered a job in something creative or like something like a teamwork position or something. I see for some of you that there's, there's like some kind of, like a change in job or like a promotion here. It's something, I swear it's something to do with money. You're gonna meet this person through. 
or like learning something new. But yeah, they're going to be gorgeous, male or female, absolutely gorgeous. Um, very, very kind person, like very, lots of love to give. This person is just, you know, the King of Cups is like Dr. Love, right? <laughs> or, um, you know, the King or the Queen of Love, basically, like this is what's going on here. <laughs> and the thing is, once you walk away and heal, because this is this row here, you have heal, and again, he has his arms open, you know, be heal and this is also i said about the heart chakra and the green down here is heart chakra colors okay so i would do that i'm going to try and remember to put the meditation in because i think they're really helpful because it's like an eight hour one you just put it on at night while you're sleeping it takes no extra time in the day you know and they're quite pleasant to listen to so yeah but as soon as you choose to walk away from whatever this past person is or the past situation and it might have been years ago you know this is when you're going to get this communication from this person or when you're going to meet this person and it's going to quite it's going to happen quite fast all right sudden and immediate results like it's gonna you know once once you get to this point it's gonna it's, like, it's gonna start moving quite quickly with this person All right. What else, please, for Sag? You want to give us some details about this person coming towards them? No. Okay. Um, clarify. Well, let's just see what comes out. What else for Sagittarius, please? I feel like I just dropped those. What else for Sagittarius? You have the Two of Pentacles. Let's come out with the Moon. Okay. Right, for one thing, you guys, some of you are trying to do too much. You need to rest. Okay, I don't know if you've thrown yourself into your work. Because I feel like there was, like a, I don't know, at some point you had this disappointment in this love this past love so I don't know if you threw yourself into your job to try and forget about it and it's like you've almost forgotten how to stop working <laughs> okay you need to rest and you may need some time here to actually tap into your emotions I don't know if you've been blocking them out with work um, you have the two of earth here too much going on at once consider a more playful approach has come out underneath rest and reconsider the three of swords. You also have the moon here. Um, important psychic insights, release fears that hold you back. See, this is this whole row here. You know, you need to take some time out here and balance these energies from the past, Sag. And I know you don't want to. I know feelings are gross, okay? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an ear sign, I know it's gross. But the thing is, until you acknowledge the feelings of what happened in the past, you can't move on. Um, you have the Seven of Swords here. So you're kind of in, you're kind of almost in no man's land at the moment because the Sevens in Tarot talk about being kind of in between two worlds. Like you've closed down an old cycle or you're kind of in the process of closing down an old cycle, but the new cycle has not yet begun yet. And you also have the Ten of Wands here. Too much work life is out of balance, stress, rela stress? <laughs> stress related health concerns. Okay, so, and I know it's easy for me to sit here and say like you're doing too much work, blah, 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 but this, you know, I'm just relaying messages from spirit. They're saying that you're tired and you know, you need to rest. Cause I do, I feel like you've thrown yourself into work to stop yourself feeling too much about the past but you're in a place now where you can think about the past and it's not going to be too painful you know because maybe before it was just too soon it was too raw you couldn't cope with it but I feel like now you would be able to okay and even if you choose not to deal with your emotions I mean I think I think you need to 
but I'm not here to tell you what to do. Um, you know, you need to rest your body. You're trying to do too much. You have way too much going on. And also, I want to say, um, emotions actually get stuck in the body. Like, you know, if you look into Chinese medicine, the liver holds anger and frustration. The kidneys hold, like, anxiety and fear. So if you've had a particularly, you know, stressful past, actually a lot of that gets um, stored in, in the organs and it prevents you from, you know, it prevents the organs from working at their peak capacity, which can cause other diseases, you know, so I don't know, there's, there's lots of frequencies on YouTube, you know, I'm not a doctor, blah, 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 disclaimer, not responsible for what you choose to do. I use them, I'm not saying they'll, you know, um, I'm not making any, rec you know, I'm not given any guarantees here, but I, I use a lot of frequencies for organs on YouTube, you know. Um, so also that's, that's what I was trying to say, like if you're releasing these emotions, it's going to be making you tired because the emotions physically reside in the body, is what I was actually trying to say there. Um, all right, you have the seven of pentacles here. Yeah, see, um, the three of pentacles, the ace of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. And this has come out under listen to your intuition. So yes, it is going slow, like with this connection with this person or meeting a new person, because I do not feel this new person, this soulmate coming in is like, past relationship energy this is someone new you might know them but you've not been in a relationship with them before um so with the seven of pentacles here you're like yeah the seeds have been planted here you don't need to worry listen to your intuition like you're in a place in your life now where you can let go of the the stress and let go of like always having to be the warrior okay like it's time to rest your body it's time to acknowledge the emotions and heal because like i said they get stuck in the body you know also for some of you in terms of your work um you're about to like it's been going slow but you're about to get some kind of offer or something's about to take off um you know seeds that you've planted in the past are about to come to fruition But this is, it's, it's growing slowly, you know, this, this connection or this new connection that's coming in. But like I said, you're being prepared for this new love. Alrighty. You have, yeah, this new, per you're dating. There's someone coming in here. You have Seek with the open arms. You have the Page of Pentacles and you have the Three of Cups here. Um, this is dating. You're about to start dating someone new. And you're going to be super happy. You're going to be really happy. They could very well be a water sign. If they're not a water sign, they're very, like they might have water in their chart somewhere or they're just, they're very sweet. A celebration, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this person. You haven't been having a lot of fun recently because you've been working. Working, working, working. Nose to the grindstone. And I do think part of that was to forget what had happened in the past. So, because this is the thing, they have to prepare you you know, because otherwise the new person would come along and you're going to be all like, ah, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm super tired and um, I've forgotten how to take care of my, my health. <laughs> you're going to have to give me some time here. You have the king of pentacles has just come out here too. Oh my God. So this person, male or female, is showing up as the king of cups and the king of pentacles. And this is all green here. <laughs> This is all green. This person's really gonna help you heal like your heart chakra. They're very, very sweet. Very sweet. Very, very loving. This person, Sag, they're gonna be very generous. Focus. There we go, King of Pentacles. So it could also be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, but it doesn't have to be. You know, they could just be showing up as this King of Pentacles energy. You have generous here twice. This is someone who wants a commitment, all right? They're very settled. They're very balanced. They're very stable. They're very warm, very giving. 
Um, they might have their own business. King of Pentacles often is an entrepreneur or they could be a scientist. Uh, they're very practical. Very heavy energy of wanting to take care of you. You know, for some of you that will be financially. For others of you it's like, you know, I just want to look after you. Like I want to help you heal, you know. Um, I want to feed you, maybe, <laughs> for some of you. They're going to be quite confident as well, this person, you know. I think this person will take the lead here. Okay, this is just an extra little message for you. So you have the Five of Cups here, the Page of um, Swords, and the Four of Cups. So this person is going to come out of nowhere, all right? They're trying to prepare you because it's almost like I want to say you haven't really been thinking about love or you might have been thinking about it but like I think there's a part of you that doesn't believe this is going to happen with this specific person or you don't believe you're ever going to meet anyone again and you are <laughs> like they're they're literally around the corner um but you have to get past and I know it's easier said than done right but You have to get past what happened in the past, you know, with the Five of Cups here because, you know, obviously this thing with the, the, the Five of Cups here is like you have the Three of Cups that are spilled and then you have the Two of Cups that are still standing which represent the soulmate coming in. So it's not until you release the past that the soulmate can kind of come in properly. Do you know what I mean? Um, they're going to come out of nowhere. Page of Swords is going to be very sudden. <laughs> Sorry, my leg twitched there. Um, it might even, they might even interrupt your plans in some way. You know, you might be planning something else. Like you might be, you know, head down, nose against the grindstone, and then suddenly this person pops up. And with the Four of Cups here, they're saying, do not miss this opportunity coming in because you're either stuck in the past or you're deciding that you're too busy with work or something. You know, don't let, don't, don't let, don't miss this opportunity. Don't let this opportunity go past you. Um, five of Swords, yep. Yeah. Don't be too stuck in your head here. You know, it's time to move on from these kind of self-limiting beliefs, you know, and these kind of constricting, like, you know, the Five of Swords is like a negative headspace. It's time to move on from that. Clarify the Eight of Wands for me there, please. It is going to happen very quickly, this, okay? The Nine of Cups, oh my god. Yep, wish fulfillment. That's crazy. So you have the Soulmates card, you have the Eight of Wands, which is like fast, you know, fast movement, fast activity, fast communication clarified by the nine of cups which is a wish fulfillment you know your wishes come true concerns fade away a love of life so yeah very nice Sag I'm going to jump into the extended reading um and in the extended we're going to find out more about this person because this kind of focused on you but I feel like you needed to hear it at the moment okay you do have the king of cups here and the king of earth but we're going to focus on, we're going to get some characteristics about your person. We're going to get some messages about your person. And I guess we'll see what else comes up in the, the extended reading. Let's see, what else would we talk about? Yeah, we'll, pull, we'll get some characteristics about your person and... Yeah, we'll see what else comes out in the extended reading, Sag. So um, if I see you over there, awesome. If not, I just want to say again, thank you very much for watching. I hope it resonated with you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, I'd appreciate muchly. And um, many blessings, Sag. Lots of love and light.